Hey guys, True Grit Scott, Bulletproof Saws and BlueSaws.com. Hope everybody's doing all right. Want to make a quick video. It's something I've wanted to do for a while on these G366s. And I know I've made a bunch of different videos, but I thought this would be an interesting one. I have one of our Bulletproof modded G366s in a bone stock one. And I, I took them out yesterday and I was getting, I was about to ship that to a customer actually. And I, I held it back. So I'm like, you know, why don't I grab a stock one and run it and kind of get a feel for it? Because I do run the stock ones, but I haven't cut with a stock G366 in quite a while. So I was like, eh, it would be something nice to do. So I have this hard maple here, which uh, I did two test hits with them yesterday. And of course, the modded one was faster. And it's funny, the chain wasn't the best chain in the world. So the cuts were taking... A, a bit there. <laughs> I'm hoping the chain's going to be better for you today. But yesterday the cuts were uh, 19 seconds for that one and 15 seconds for that one. So it's four second different in time. I don't know how it's going to be today with the sharp chain. One of the things I was thinking as I was doing this is where the modded saw really stands out and we do performance mods and reliability mods and those reliability mods to me are just as important i don't know if you realize it but i put on bluesaws.com we sell the stock g366s but i have a disclaimer on it that they can be a super tweaky saw and if you're not going to wrench on the saw and get things right it might not be the saw for you just and that's how they are you guys know it's one of my favorite saws but out of the box it could be tweaky i don't i don't know a better way to put it It'll get you chasing what you think might be a timing issue or a coil issue. And what I've really narrowed it down to is the carb, that HLIC carb on there. I love HLIC carbs on a 44 or a 66. I'll take an HLIC carb as quick as I'll take a Walbro carb. I have them both on the shelf and in building a saw for myself, I'll reach up and if I grab, if I grab the HLIC, it's the HLIC. I don't fight to get the wall bro just because i think that in those two models those hlic carbs run just as good as any of the wall bros i've ever had that being said we all know that the the farmer tech 372 or any of the clone 372s with the hlic it's a problematic carb in that and on these 366s it's funny i go through periods of time where i think that maybe it's straightened out and those carbs will start acting tweaky in a, in a week or two weeks or whatever. So it's it's not a reliable carb in the 366. The simple fix is to swap over to a Walbro carb. You throw the Walbro carb on and it solves just about all your problems on a 366. So if you bought a stock 366 and you're not a big saw guy, you're not going to do a bunch of different mods, just throwing that Walbro carb on will help out a lot. I tested Tillotson a one Tillotson carb on it didn't like the way it ran but I've heard other people have luck with them so I'm going to order some more Tillotsons in and just try them out maybe that was just an oddball bad Tillotson don't know don't have an opinion there but I do know that the Walbro works real well 100 bucks and you have a a nice running saw uh I guess guess I really should just get to running these. Like I said, when I did test hits yesterday, it was about a four second difference between the saws. But what that really doesn't show you guys is, and I probably skipped what I was going to say back there. But anyhow, what that doesn't show you is just the overall feel of the saw is tremendously better. It, the throttle response is better. The idle that, that from beginning to end, it just runs so much better with the mods that we do on them. Uh, one of the things that I'll tell you is if you're running two saws and you're running the same chain on both saws and they're both spinning at, say, 14,000 RPMs, they should cut exactly the same. The difference that I see in these two saws, because they're tuned pretty close to being the same, is that I can dog in quite a bit. Neither of these have dogs on them because I'm shipping them out, but I could put pressure on them. I could put enough pressure to stop the chain if I want. With the unmodded saw, that's very easy for me to do. Like, it won't take a lot of pressure with that 20-inch bar for me to stop that chain, especially in this hard maple. With the modded saw, it has a lot more power. 
it's noticeable how much more pressure I can put on the saw and it keeps chewing. I could stall out either of them if I put enough pressure on them, but with an equal amount of pressure, I'll stop that saw where that saw will keep chugging. So as far as top chain speed, I don't know that we're that far ahead on the modded one. Reliability wise, I know we are and power wise, I know we absolutely are. Like there's no chance that I'd run a 24 inch bar or 25 inch bar on that. Whereas that saw can pull it and I'll probably do some tests with that too, just to see how well it does pull a 25. I did tune up that chain, so hopefully it cuts a little bit better than 15 and 19 seconds and I'll make a couple cuts and we'll go from there. I'll start up that blue one because it's got the bar on it, run it, then I'll warm up the other one. The other thing I'll tell you is these 366s do well with a little bit of warm up. They get better, you know, after your first or second cut. But again, I'll warm them up beforehand, but you might see that the first cut or two or the first cut. You might notice a change between the first and second. Maybe you won't. Some of this stuff doesn't show on video real well. And I don't know. We'll see the times. I'm hoping that <laughs> they cut faster today. Like I said, it was a four-second difference yesterday. It was a 19-second cut and a 15-second cut. So we'll see what we get today with my improved chain. <laughs> I'll pause you guys get one of these started. chain out we'll get another run on video I could definitely feel a difference the second cut I dogged in or put pressure on the saws and I had to put less pressure on the orange saw and you could see at first I was putting a little more on it and I backed off of it because it, it just couldn't pull it but it did gut it out better than I was expecting it to it's just not the same it's a noticeable undoubtedly you can feel the difference uh, what was I going to say? The sound in the stock form, that's kind of a quiet saw. They're smooth, they're quiet, and there's something to be said for that. You don't need a loud saw all the time. And I tell guys all the time that just because something's loud doesn't mean it's going to be faster. Sometimes that could trick you. Two saws that are real close, a lot of times I'll see guys think that the, the saw that's a half a second slower 
or faster is slower because it's more quiet. The louder saw seems faster is what I'm trying to say and not doing a good job at it. But uh, it's real noticeable and I don't know if you could, you could hear the, the kind of hiccups that sound like tuning issues, but I'm pretty sure I could sit there and tune all day and not get rid of them. Maybe that'll change when it's broken in. I think that the quick fix to that, throw the wall bro on it or do a 44 carb and put it on it changes a whole lot i've tested the modded saws with both the wall bro and the modded 44 carb the modded 44 carb gives it a, a bit more power it's noticeable and i assume it's because the barrel's quite a bit bigger you could get more air into it i've also on my personal saw i have a velocity stack and i i'll tell you what it keeps it a lot cleaner I can't exactly prove how much of an improvement the velocity stack alone gives as opposed to the stock air filter setup. Maybe it lets in a little more air, but I, I wouldn't go crazy throwing a velocity stack on one other than it keeps the air going in a lot cleaner than the stock filter setup, which I don't think is wonderful on these. It's actually gotten better because some of the earlier 366s, the, the way it's the, the air filter sealed it would start cracking the latex or rubber, whatever's around the rim there, and it would let in more fines. These one, the newer ones seem better. I don't see that happening, but it's still not a great design from steel to begin with. It's not. It's just not the best air filter I've ever seen. Because you could say that about a lot of steel saws. Anyhow, guys, I hope you could see a, a difference on video. Like I said, when I did the test hits yesterday, and I think I deleted the video. Oh, I wish I didn't, because I would have showed it to you. That was 19 seconds, this was 15 seconds, there was a four second difference. And the dumb math in my head was it was like a 22% gain. I can't convey how the power difference feels with dogging in and the ability to run a bigger bar. That I can't quantify on video, I don't know how to show it to you guys. Uh, today, it did feel like I was cutting faster. So my, my sharpening that chain and I did a quick tune with a kind of an old file but it did seem better because I don't think those those were 20 second or even 15 second cuts today so sharp chain made a heck of a difference anyhow guys just want to show you these two saws and show you what we're doing we're modding them for folks and we've been sending out a lot of them and I've been getting a lot of good feedback on them so I'm pretty happy with them we'll see over the next few years again it's it's my number one favorite saw from farmer tech just not in stock form it's a good one to work on. Anyhow, guys, True Grit Scott, Bulletproof Saws and BlueSaws.com. Thanks for watching. Oh, you know what you guys didn't notice? I had my Farmer Tech Timber Jack back there, which I love that thing. That's a heck of a nice Timber Jack. I have them in stock on Blue Saws, so you might want to check those out because it's a pretty nice Timber Jack. Anyhow, guys, stay safe.